Forget bullets. Forget explosions. China has just tested a weapon that can silently fry electronics from miles away, and it can fire over 10,000 times without breaking down. No, this isn't science fiction. It's a game-changing high-power microwave weapon, and it might completely reshape how future wars are fought. In this video, we're diving into what this weapon is, why it's so revolutionary, and what it means for global military power. At the heart of this breakthrough is an advanced high-power microwave, HPM, gun developed by Chinese scientists that doesn't just push the limits, it obliterates them. Unlike earlier generations of microwave weapons, which were bulky, fragile, and operationally short-lived, this one is compact, rugged, and reliable. According to research from the Northwest Institute of Nuclear Technology, NNT, in Xi'an, it can deliver 10,000-plus continuous shots without any noticeable degradation. That number isn't just impressive, it's unprecedented in the history of directed energy weapons. The weapon is designed to emit focused microwave pulses capable of disabling or destroying electronic systems. Each shot delivers hundreds of megawatts of microwave energy, all powered by a 3-gigawatt pulsed current. That's enough to disable the sensitive electronics inside drones, missiles, aircraft, or even satellites without ever launching a single explosive. But the true innovation isn't just in the firepower, it's in the vacuum technology. Traditional microwave weapons require large external pumps to maintain a vacuum chamber. Without a stable vacuum, microwave energy can arc internally or become unstable. These setups are bulky and limit deployment flexibility. To overcome that, Chinese engineers made a revolutionary materials breakthrough. They perfected a ceramic metal welding process that bonds aluminum oxide ceramic insulators directly to metal without relying on rubber seals, which degrade over time. This enables the system to be self-contained, maintaining vacuum integrity even during heavy firing. This eliminates external pumps and significantly reduces size and maintenance demands. Even more impressive, the weapon uses non-evaporable getter NEG, pumps made from zirconium vanadium iron alloys, which absorb residual gases like hydrogen, nitrogen, and carbon during operation. This dynamic vacuum stabilization keeps the system in a high-performance state, even in battlefield conditions. Meticulous manufacturing protocols also helped achieve this reliability. Acid washing, ultrasonic cleaning, and pre-baking components eliminated residual gas and steel parts. Allowing the weapon to maintain ultra-high vacuum levels of pascals for up to 100 hours of continuous operation during testing. That's not just an engineering win, it's a battlefield revolution. With a firing mechanism this powerful and durable, the natural question becomes, what can it actually do in combat? The answer is both thrilling and unsettling. This isn't a weapon of destruction, it's a weapon of deactivation. It doesn't blow things up. It renders them useless. The primary use case is electronic warfare. The weapon is designed to disrupt or destroy the circuits in drones, missiles, aircraft systems, radar installations, communication hubs, and possibly even low-Earth orbit satellites. These microwave pulses target electronics directly, not armor or infrastructure, meaning that a drone swarm, no matter how many, could be dropped out of the sky without a single shot fired. In terms of firing capability, it can release 10 to 30 pulses per second, creating a continuous cone of electronic suppression. This makes it ideal for multi-thread environments, such as defending an airfield or convoy against incoming drone swarms or cruise missiles. What makes this even more disruptive is the cost efficiency. Each microwave pulse costs next to nothing compared to interceptor missiles or kinetic anti-air systems. While a single interceptor can run into hundreds of thousands of dollars, a microwave pulse can disable an incoming threat for mere pennies using energy stored in the onboard system. And unlike traditional weapons, there's no visible trace, no smoke trails, no debris, just silence as enemy systems shut down. That stealth adds a layer of confusion for opponents who may not even realize they're under attack until systems begin to fail. Because the system is self-contained and vacuum-stable, it can theoretically be mounted on mobile platforms like armored vehicles, naval destroyers, or even on static installations near sensitive locations like military bases, airports. Of course, there are caveats. The energy source powering the 3 gigawatt pulses hasn't been fully revealed, and it's unclear if the weapon can maintain mobility without massive onboard generators. 
But that challenge, delivering enough compact energy, is being addressed in parallel with energy storage innovations. Now let's zoom out and look at the big picture. This breakthrough is more than just a technical marvel. It's a strategic power move with wide-reaching geopolitical consequences. While the U.S. has been developing its own microwave weapons, particularly those based on gallium nitride, gone, semiconductors, which don't require vacuum systems, they're hitting a wall. Why? Because China controls most of the world's gallium supply, and in recent years, it has begun restricting exports of this critical material. This isn't just about economics. It's a direct lever of power in the global arms race. So while the U.S. focuses on GAN-based solid-state microwave weapons, China is advancing both vacuum-based and solid-state systems simultaneously. That's a two-front technological push, and it's working. China is now not only building better weapons, but also constraining the competition's ability to catch up. Even more, the Chinese weapon marks a shift toward non-kinetic, non-lethal warfare, where the goal isn't to destroy infrastructure or kill personnel, but to shut down entire systems with invisible force. It's warfare by blackout. Silent. Instant. Reversible, if needed. This matters because it signals a new military doctrine. Traditional kinetic responses can be politically explosive, costly, and devastating. But a directed energy hit that disables a radar base or communication node, that can achieve the same objective without triggering a full-scale retaliation. It's a tool of pressure, dominance, and disruption. It also opens the door for entirely new battlefield countermeasures. Militaries worldwide will now have to reevaluate everything from electromagnetic shielding to redundant systems and even satellite hardening. What was once a theoretical risk is now a tested, real-world threat. And finally, it alters the cost curve of conflict. Nations no longer need to spend millions building, launching, and deploying interceptors or advanced fighters when energy-based weapons can neutralize threats for a fraction of the cost. This levels the playing field, but only for nations that have the scientific base, infrastructure, and resources to build them. China's HPM weapon isn't just a breakthrough in defense. It's a message to the world. We've mastered a new form of warfare, and we're already moving ahead of the pack. China's microwave weapon isn't just a prototype. It's proof that the age of silent, non-kinetic warfare has arrived. With 10,000 uninterrupted shots and no visible destruction, this technology marks a turning point where disabling electronics becomes more strategic than physical impact. As global powers react, the stakes are rising. Who can adapt faster to a battlefield ruled by invisible force? And how do you defend against a weapon you can't even detect? If this is the future of warfare, then it's already begun. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.